The temple I will cover in cycle number five. Because I want to beat the dungeon in the first day. And come on, Song of Soaring. There we go. <laughs> so before we tackle the dungeon, it's time to finish off the events in Clocktown first. So I will see you there. With all the preparation work for the dungeon taken care of, let's go finish off this cycle by completing all the events we can. Since it's the second day now, the first thing we are going to do is of course the second game of the Honey and Darlings shop. It is now available to us. Let's go see what they have next. First day was a bomb chew challenge. What do you have today? <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got the perfect score yesterday? Would you like to play again? Today is basket bomb day, isn't it, darling? One game is still 10 rupees. Get a bomb inside every basket in the time it takes us to dance through one song. If you throw with too much power, you'll fall off this platform, so be careful, right, darling? Are you ready? Start the music! Okay, now we have Bombskut Ball. Yes, this is Mario Party. <laughs> Here in this Bombskut Ball minigame, we need to throw some bombs in baskets. I think this one is pretty easy, so... Should not give me too much problem. It does become harder the further we get, because just like with the Bomb Chew Challenge, the platform will start spinning faster and faster the more we actually get. As you might have noticed already, this platform is moving faster. But it never really becomes difficult. <laughs> Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. Another stupid fishing hole pass. <laughs> but that, that is not what we're doing this for. We're here to complete this event. And this was number two. You got the perfect score at the basket bump. That's annoying, so let's show off even more for him, darling. No, what's annoying is the fact that your dialogue is constantly the same. <laughs> okay, um... Now that we have the Goron Mask, there's actually another minigame that unlocks. I did point us out towards this minigame in the very first cycle already. But I also said there's actually something we need before we can actually get the reward for this. And now we actually have that thing that we need. And that is the Goron Mask. This minigame you can play as any form of Link, but only the Goron Link will actually give you the best reward here. Because this lady actually determines the price depending on how you look. And with a bunny hood you can't play. <laughs> if we are regular Link, she will think we are uh, somewhat interesting, but not quite good enough to actually input a very good reward. With this we can only win some rupees. However, this girl from the treasure chest shop actually has a thing for big, strong men. And what is the biggest, strongest man we, that we can find? Darmany the Third. <laughs> now she will think we're worthy. Well, hello there, handsome. My, what strong arms you have. <laughs> so you want to play? For you, it's 30 rupees. Hey, as Link, it was cheaper. What the hell? <laughs> but anyway, I have the money. So. If you can make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Are you ready? Okay, like I said, for every single Link, this prize will be different. But only as Goron Link, we want to play this. And this is how it works. It is a maze. <laughs> It looks like we can simply go towards the treasure chest immediately. However, there are invisible walls in place, creating an invisible maze. And I'm already having trouble. <laughs> okay, let's head left, apparently. Now this is also a dead end. What the hell? Oh, come on. I'm getting lost in this maze. <laughs> yeah, I never claimed this was easy. <laughs> Mom. Looks like everything is dead end. Where the hell do I where the hell do I need to go? <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Stupid maze! 
let's try that again. And that was not in the plans. <laughs> it is randomized after uh, every single setting, so don't think you can actually... Um... Okay, this was a whole lot easier. <laughs> but anyway, it is random every single time. Every single time you play, the maze will be different. But anyway, when we are Goron Link, the prize is actually a piece of heart. Which also acts as an event. A treasure chest prize. You won an extravagant prize at the treasure chest shop. Okay, and that is all we can do here. We can play as other links, but uh, it's not worth it. It's only going to be rupees. So, um... Speaking of rupees, I'd actually like to save some, because I also still have that biggest bomb bag I need to buy. Um, go away. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally, 200 rupees. Took forever. I think I'll just cut out most of it. <laughs> but anyway, now we finally have enough money to actually buy the final bomb bag in this game. Which you can find at Goran Village. Okay, one other thing I need to note. Make sure you have the big bomb bag at this point. Otherwise, you're not able to buy this from him. Without the big bomb bag, you cannot do this. Just remember that. Because otherwise, the biggest bomb bag is going to cost 1,000 rupees. And there's no wallet in this game that gives you the ability to carry that much money. So, <laughs> only when you have the big bomb bag, you can actually lower the price to 200 rupees. And only then you can buy this. Which also acts as the final step for the bomb business. An event we started in the first cycle already. <laughs> but finally we are going to finish it. Thank you. You got the biggest bomb back. Now you can hold up to 40 bombs. It took forever. But this event is finally over. <laughs> you got an even bigger bomb back. Thank you sir. We'll be seeing you later once we start doing the business scrub scramble. But we cannot finish that one entirely, so I'm saving that one for later. Okay, and that only leaves one more event to do, other than the third day in the Honey and Darling shop. And that is related to the beginning of this cycle, when we got the Mask of Truth, the doggy race. But for that I need some money again. <laughs> Okay, allow me to show this off. Normally I would cut this out, but I think I'll show this off once. If you have Goron li Link available to you, this is actually the, bet the best method to grind for money, I feel. There are multiple Dodongos in this game. In this grotto, for instance. And with Goron Link, you can actually really easily take these guys out. Only three hits with the Goron Punch is actually enough to kill these guys. And they always drop a purple rupee. So it's a pretty easy 100 rupees. So if you're in a situation like me, where pretty much all of the treasure chests containing rupees are already gotten, this is a pretty easy way to um, quickly grind for money. And I can also show off what happens to piece of heart chests the moment you already have the piece of heart. It will then contain a regular recovery heart. <laughs> also interesting. But anyway, this is a pretty um, easy way to get some money money we need, because there's one more minigame we need to clear off. After getting the Mask of Truth, and more importantly, learning from the Gossip Stone in the Spider House where we got the, magic, uh, the Mask of Truth, the Mask of Truth can actually be used to read the minds of animals, like doggies for instance, that sometimes run around in this world. And in the doggy race track we can now cheat to win it. <laughs> Here we find that giant boulder that's blocking Romany Ranch in the first two days. However, that's not the only thing that we have not seen here yet. There's actually also this side path over here. Let's go see what's over here. Gorman Track, home of the horseback riding experts. Beginners welcome. Please drop in at your leisure. Okay, horseback riding experts, eh? Welcome to the Gorman track.
And there's nobody here. So it's probably a bad time to first show off this area. Apparently it's closed on the night of the second day. Just remember it's here. There's actually an area there that's specialized in horseback riding. But since we don't have a horse ourselves anymore, <laughs> it's not for us right now. But anyway, this guy's still working pretty hard. Someone was up to some no good mischief and blocked the road to Romany Ranch. Sorry, wait for another day. Yeah, if you come here in the first two days, this thing here prevents us from going into the ranch. Where apparently something mysterious happens. <laughs> Because as you may remember from the first time we were there, the inhabitants of the ranch were pretty confused the moment we found them. But for now, that is a mystery that needs to be solved later. Dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain. And for now, the only time we can actually get into the ranch... We are still unable to actually work with the main thing that happens here. Since we're unable to actually get here in the first two days. Also something that prevents us from getting our horse back. <laughs> since we can't talk to the people here, we can also not ask for our horse back. But there is something else we can do here. Unlike the Cuckoo Shack where we can earn the bunny hood. There's actually also something else here. The doggy racetrack. Thanks to the Swamp Spider House, we now know that we can use the Mask of Truth to cheat in this minigame and earn some big money. <laughs> Let's go see how this place works. Okay, capitalism seems to be running high here because it, is, it even has sponsors. <laughs> Romani Ranch presents the Dark Race 500, sponsored by Mamamoo Young. Choose a dog. Place a bet and win rupees if your dog places first through fifth. Minimum bet is 10 rupees. First will triple your bet, second will double your bet, and third through fifth will keep your bet. Win 150 rupees or more, and you'll walk away with a special bonus gift. And yes, the bonus gift is why we are here. <laughs> Let's go talk to you. What do you want on a day like this? This is Mamamoo Yan's doggy racetrack. Didn't you know that? Do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Will you still try? Sure. Then first go in and fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. And you're on the timeline, so apparently this place is not always open. Okay. As you can see, here we have a lot of doggies. In any normal circumstances, you would say it's a pretty big guess which one is going to be the fastest one. However, we have a way to read their minds. And trust me, that will help a lot here. <laughs> oh, my belly hurts. Oh, I feel terrible. Yeah, whenever you see something like that, you know they won't be doing too well. And this guy feels unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. And that is something we can work with. <laughs> Let's go try this with you. Is that doggy fine? Okay, and just like the sign said, first place will triple our bet, second will double it, and third, fourth, or fifth will uh, break us even. But anyway, whatever we do, we need to make sure we win at least 150 rupees here. Best way to do it is bet 50 rupees and hope you win, because triple 50 rupees will get you 150. If you can do math. <laughs> Let's go see how good our doggy can do. <laughs> Always make sure you pick a dog that actually has a very good feeling about the race. Otherwise, you're not going to win. <laughs> and even then, it is not going to be a guarantee. Because there's always multiple dogs saying some uh, positive si things. So no, ma no matter what, this still remains pretty difficult as you might uh, see. I'm getting 5th place, so I barely break even. <laughs> However, to be honest, a dog that says he feels unstoppable is not good enough. Allow me to show you off how you win this. There's actually one piece of dialogue that is actually the key to winning this. A dog saying, I feel unstoppable is not good enough. 
There's one dialogue that is even better. The ultimate motivation for a good racer. Let's go see where you are. Might take a while for me to find it, because it's usually only one that actually says that. Yeah, here it is. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. That is what you're looking for. The moment you see that, that dog you're going to want to use. Okay, let's bet, bet another 50 rupees. And now I feel a lot more confident. Let's go! Okay, I'm getting pretty unlucky at first. <laughs> the other dogs are in the way a little bit. Pinning him down, but he should be faster than the rest. Yeah, here he comes. The moment he gets some room, he blazes away and he wins pretty easily. <laughs> He's running for his family. The best motivation you can find. And that way you can easily win this race. But you do need the Mask of Truth in order to find this guy. <laughs> well, take me for a walk and call me Spot. You took first place. First place. Spot? <laughs> you win triple the amount of your bet. That is 150 rupees. Uh, nice going. Your overall winnings fall into the 150 rupees or more category, so you'll earn a bonus prize. And that is a piece of heart. And it's a very good one, because it actually increases our life again. <laughs> Win big at the doggy race. Complete. You won big in the dog race. Thanks to the Mask of Truth. <laughs> of course, it is possible to do this without it, but you need to get extremely lucky then. <laughs> Not recommended, but you, you are welcome to try, of course. <laughs> I will just do it the intended way. Okay, we are done here. Let's leave here. Okay, that leaves only one more event to check off before we head back in time and start tackling the next dungeon. It is day three, so we have another game available at the Honey and Darling shop. Let's go. Okay, East Clock Town. And this final game is actually the reason why you don't want to do this earlier. Because this will require an item that you only have after the swamp is completed. I'm pretty sure you can guess which item I mean. <laughs> okay, now that I know you have the same dialogue again, I'm not going to care. <laughs> oh, you're the one who got the perfect score two days in a row. Do you want to play again? Today's target shooting day, isn't it, darling? It sure is. <laughs> Hit all the targets in the time it takes for us to dance through one song. But if you fall off this platform, you're out, isn't he, darling? <laughs> Are you ready? Start the music! Okay, the final game actually requires to use the bow. So if we have not done enough bow and arrow minigames already. <laughs> okay, let's not shoot these guys. <laughs> but this one is by far the easiest one, I feel. Pretty easy hitting these targets. We have plenty of time for it, so... There we go. If the other shooting minigames don't give me any troubles, this one shouldn't either. <laughs> uh, honey, he got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give him, honey. And you guessed it, it's another piece of heart. <laughs> but okay, you only get this piece of heart if you beat... All three games in the same cycle, the three days in a row. And then you clear off the event. You got the perfect score three days in a row at Honey and Darling's shop. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? Well, if this is what you love doing, then I guess you are happy. <laughs> okay, and that concludes this cycle. For the next time, I have planned to do the dungeon could do it now, I know, but there's actually an event attached to clearing the dungeon. And for that I want it to be the first day. So I'm actually going to start the next dungeon with a clean sheet. And therefore, we are done here. Cycle 4 has ended. We did do all the preparation for the dungeon. We have the song required to actually enter the dungeon. 
So in the next cycle we can immediately get started with clearing off the dungeon. I should have plenty of time to do that before the first day ends. And that will be my challenge next time. So cycle 5 coming up next time. Immediately starting with the next dungeon. The Snowhead Temple. And hopefully I'm able to do it in one day time. <laughs> Okay, let's not screw up the Song of Time as well. <laughs> I already struggled with the Song of Soaring a moment ago. <laughs> but anyway, this is what I will leave behind. See you folks next time when the next cycle gets started. It's not going to be a very long one, but it is going to be the one where the next dungeon is going to be tackled. See you folks next time. And Treeks out.